Welcome to Stillworks in Bruin. My name is Randy. This is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So what do we got going on today? Alright, what we're going to do today is we're going to mount a PWM, Paul Swift modifier switch, into a control box. And we are going to also add a volt amp meter to that also. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. First, there is something that you can really do to help us out. Uh, we say this every week, but you'd be surprised how much it does help. Uh, number one, if you haven't got a chance yet, well, no, wait, let me back up. Number one, if you have subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't had a time yet to subscribe, please hit that button right down there and get, get it done. Okay, number two. Uh, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, let's see, number three. Share us with your friends. Get the word out and help us out that way. Uh, if you like what you see after you get done, give us a thumbs up. And if you're inclined, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So let's get started now. First, I got to put a disclaimer out there that I am not an electrician. Uh, but I am going to wire this up properly. I uh, feel this is the way I'm going to wire it up. And uh, we'll go on from there. Okay, so what do I got? I got me a, a, a plastic electrical box. Uh, this is a 10,000 watt uh, PWM switch. It's also fan cooled internally. Uh, if you remember, I, I temporarily wired this up. I, uh, I used it on my rum distillation uh, about a week or so back. It worked perfectly, so I'm comfortable with it. Uh, on off switch, and I got some stress lever things. They're mounting so you can mount the wires coming out of your box. I ain't quite sure what you call them. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's to hold the cords. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give me a couple holes cut in my box. And then uh, I don't think I'm going to bore you with that. So let me get that. And then we'll mount these in the in the box, and then we're going to show you how we're going to wire it up. Then after we're all done, we'll give her a little test drive. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, to give you an update where I'm at is I cut my holes. I'll put them in the lid here. Uh, so I mounted my switch. I got my voltmeter right there, and then I got an on and off switch. Okay, so once it goes into the box. It's going to look like that. You'll be able to turn it up and down. You'll be able to see what you're doing. Okay, so the next part is we got to start doing some wiring. All right, so let me get set up for that. And I'll be back. Okay, so here's my uh, pulse, width mod pulse width modifier switch. Okay, I got uh, my very little all switch. There's where you adjust the, uh, the voltage going at, and I also got a voltmeter. Okay. It's not very complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the blackboard, and I'm going to show you how I wired it up. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this, this is 120 volt that we're working with. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, this is our power coming into our control box you got a black and I got blue representing white the white wire and a green for ground okay in the uh, United States uh, black is hot white is neutral green is fixture ground okay so we got the black wire coming into an on and off switch alright so the switch actually breaks the wire for the uh, the hot so once you turn it on, it's going to send power to the voltmeter that way, and it's going to send power up to the P a PWM switch. All right. So at the same time, we got the neutral wire go to the PWM switch, and then coming out of the PMW switch is the black wires coming out. It goes out to your heating element. All right, and then the uh, the neutral wire, the white wire, is coming out of the PMW switch, and it also is going into the uh, out to the element. All right. So the greens are connected together. 
all right? And the, uh, the voltmeter, I'm picking up power from the switch, so when you turn it on, it's also sending it to the voltmeter. And it's also picking up its neutral. It's just tied in right there. Okay. Now the only difference is is on the voltmeter the way it reads the amperage going out to your element. All right. Is it has a pickup coil. You just slide the pickup coil through the uh, wire through the inside of that loop of that pickup coil, and it reads the uh, amperage going out to the uh, to the uh, your element all right and like I said this is 120 volts uh, this is how I wired it up it seems to work pretty good uh, okay so here's my control box we're gonna power up all right the switch switches off uh, I got 123 volts coming in and as it right here you can see I have zero going out to the uh, the still pot all right so let's start dialing it up see so right there max is putting out 13 amps to the uh, element and then we'll be able to uh, dial back to what we want so once we start um, distilling the reason I wanted a voltmeter just because it's kind of touchy, see, I just, you know, because it, when you're doing using gas, you can look at the flame and see how much you're going, but on this you can't, so this is a visual, so I know how much that I can turn it up and down so I can get the result that I want, okay? So far, I think it's working out fine. I hear the fan inside running. I also drilled holes on three different sides for ventilation to make sure that uh, we get enough air inside the box to keep the, uh, the switch cool so uh, I think everything's going to be fine okay so I'm pretty happy with my control box here for my, my still and I'll be I can't wait to get ready to use that uh, I did want to give you a sneak preview uh, remember last week, it's been about one week, that is our uh, rum, bone oak, got a nice color to it, okay, and then this here is our, our spice drum, alright, and it, it's getting a nice color to it, so I'll probably be tasting that probably sometime soon and get ready to put it in a bottle. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I hope you got some information out of this. Uh, all I got left to say is, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.